little shell shape. Okay, <laughs> cheek. Internet. Today I have uh, my what's in my bag. Today I have my what's in my bag. Any what's in my bag? Today I have what's in my bag video for you all. You all know I'm very nosy and I love watching these myself, so why not do um myself? Why can't I talk today? Anyway, my bag is the small Felma bag from Ted Baker. I love it. I actually bought this bag because I was at work and a lady came in with it and I kind of fell in love with it because it was my perfect bag. And I work right next door to Ted Baker. So I went and bought it on my lunch break. <sighs> that happened. The only thing I would say is I wish I'd got the bigger version of it because it is quite small and I like to hoard lots of things in my bag as you will probably find out now. I literally haven't touched this since I've got home from work so <laughs> I haven't got a clue what's in it and I'm actually a little bit worried as to what might be in it. So I will start, first of all I'll start, I've got little clips attached to the handles, just like little hair clips. I always put them on the side of my bag just in case but I never use them so I don't know. So that's those. And then inside I'll show you like the pockets and everything inside once I've got everything out. So I open it up and there you go jam-packed full of rubbish that probably doesn't need to be in it. The first thing is my phone. I have 5S in gold. Yes, nothing else to say about that. I've got a bumper case on it that's orange, obviously, and it was 69p off of eBay. Yes, it was. I have a bag of mini Oreos. Uh, I think my mum actually gave me these when I came in from work and I just popped them in my bag. Yeah, so mini Oreos. I think the mini Oreos are actually better than the bigger Oreos. Thumbs up if you agree. Um, next I have my purse, which is pretty much the same size as my bag. This is Links of London and I've had it for about four years now. It's also a clutch, which is why it's so big and it's got like a little handle thing there. There's a zip on the back, which I've got um, loads and loads of cinema tickets from whenever I've gone with my boyfriend. Oh, cute, I know not um, and then I've just got all your basics in there everything that you need in a purse except money because I have none story of my life Beecham's my bag usually is a pharmacy so we're probably going to end up finding more medication in there but yes Beecham's then I've got my little diary journal and a little sticker from that came in um, my little box it was like on the box and I just thought it was really cute. It says, Paris is always a good idea and it's just a quote from Audrey Hepburn. This diary is from Blot and I really like it. It's clearly for someone who is at school because, I mean, you can write your timetable in here, I think, at some point. Yeah, look, you can write your timetable in. Um, Monday, Tuesday, and then you've got the times. And then at the back, there's like a bit with like mass paper on, with those little squares. Ah, oh, the memories that brings back. Um, but yeah, I really like this because it, it goes to, it started in, I bought it late, and it starts in, it started in August, and it goes all the way through to August, December 15, so yes, it has like a year and a half in it, which is great, and it was from Blot, and it was £7.50, and I like this, I read. Next is a book, which is The Wasp Factory, which which a girl I work with has let me borrow from my holiday. I would have read it by now actually, because this will go up on Monday the 29th, so I'm actually currently on a plane. Yay, again, I'm currently on a plane. So, yes, I wonder what I would think of this. She's told me it can be a bit disturbing. We'll see. <laughs> Next is my little Chanel perfume bottle. I love this perfectly handbag. Twist it up, twist it down. I think this has actually already been featured in a video as well, so yes. And I have my car keys with a keep calm and drink tea keyring. Nope, that's the wrong way around. There we go. Keep calm and drink tea keyring and a little Dachshund keyring, and it looks like he's in a little Christmas jumper, and it's cute, and it has a light. See? The real technique. Tech. Then I've got the real techniques. Uh, powder brush, which really, really needs cleaning. It's so dirty. It's 
little bit embarrassing. I wonder if there's actually powder in here as well. <laughs> then I've got a Links of London pouch with nothing in it. Just lots of hair attached to it, that's always great. I'm really worried that my microphone isn't on. I'm just gonna check. It is, and I'm really worried that I'm out of focus. Hopefully I'm not. Then I've got an empty plastic bag, like a little sandwich bag. It must have had food in it because it's the same sort of bag as the Oreos, so don't know what was in it, I don't know what was in it. Then I've got my glasses, which are Fendi. Oh, they're so dirty that I can't actually see. I really need to clean these. Do I look smarter? Probably not. My bed's going to be covered in rubbish by the end of this video. Um, next I have a little compact mirror, which I think was actually my mum's. It's so old that it's actually broken. Let's see. Like the mirror comes out. I think it's really cute. Little shell shape. Oh, <laughs> little shell shaped compact mirror. Then I've got my Carmex lip balm that pretty much just gets thrown in any bag that I use. My house keys on a little Ken Hannigan's key ring. This is really really cute, it's like a little pouch. You can put like coins in if you want. I have in it my Tesco's club card and a key ring that my friend got for me. Cool, because that's always what you need in my little pouches with your house keys on, right? Then I've got my um, Volume Millions lashes. I've obviously clearly just used these this morning, running late and chucked them in my bag. So unorganised. <laughs> I have got powder, then I've got powder. And it's obviously the Stay Matte, uh, stay matte from Rimmel. Uh, and the concealer, uh, Match Perfections Rimmel. And I've got shop keys with a really cute little look. Ah, it's a little penguin. And he's actually a bottle opener as well. I love it. And then I find my tangle teaser, which again is disgusting because it has lots of hair in it. And then right at the bottom of the main pocket are some receipts. And they are both for petrol. That's a bit depressing, isn't it? Petrol is the most depressing thing, like you just watch your money like, drain, drain away and you never see it. So now I'm going to show you inside. <laughs> so it's all lined with this really pretty floor. It's like greys, like grey and white and black print, which is gorgeous. I love all the linings of the Ted Baker bags, they're always so pretty. Um, and then you've got a zip pocket at the back here, and then you've got the like a bigger pocket here and your little phone pocket here which obviously I don't keep my phone in um, but in the in this pocket here I have faux matte lipstick obviously you know this is my favourite I'd be a bit worried if it wasn't in my bag and I have the jelly pong pong um, lip pen stick thing the lip stain that I really like. A little pocket to its left. I've got my park and ride bus ticket. Nice. Um, another MAC lipstick and it's Fever Glam 1. Just the dark red. I love this lipstick. Then I've got a Bare Minerals lip balm in Jack of All Trades. It's like a tinted nude coloured lip balm. It doesn't come out quite so dark, it's quite a natural colour. Oh, and it's broken, so I'm going to have to push that down myself. Nice. Um, and I've got some Bongella. I clearly had an ulcer at some point and haven't taken this out. And then there's something else in there. Chewing gum! I have chewing gum. And then in the back pocket I have a lighter. Cool just in case. And I've actually still got the little Ted Baker tag, so the little real leather one and the random little, I think it's like a care card. Be a fair leather friend. I think that's it. I think that's everything in my bag. Now, if you, for a small bag, that is, that is a lot of stuff. I seriously couldn't cram anything else in it if I tried. Actually, I probably could. I'm quite a good bag packer. <laughs> that's not really weird. And that's everything that is in my bag. So 
I'll show you a bit more about the bag. It's really, really soft leather. I absolutely love it. And it comes in, I think, three other colour shades. But I got this one because I really like the contrast between the tan and the black. I really like that for some reason. Um, and then the, this long handle, it detaches. Um, and on the inside, the, the outside, when you're not using it, it's painted black. And then when you are using it, it flips up and you've got the same tan as the little handles but like I said that can come off and yeah and it's got a patent bum, patent bottom with the gold studs which is great because it helps you not to scratch this but yes this bag is currently my pride and joy and I absolutely love it I love bags I have too many bags I should do a bag collection video that's an idea as always my social media links will be down below so go and check me out there thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you next time bye bye